In this video, I'll be going through a kind of long example of finding the absolute extreme values of a function on uh, a closed and bounded set in the plane. So these examples take some time, so it's good to maybe have a video of them. So I'm going to be finding the absolute extrema of this function on the region enclosed by uh, y equals x, y equals 3, and x equals 0. So let me just draw this region where we have the line y equals x and x equals 0 is just the y-axis and then we have y equals 3. So we have this region here and well our function is certainly continuous so the extreme value theorem says that it attains both its maximum and its minimum values somewhere on this region and where calculus comes into play is that local maxes or mins that occur on the inside we can find uh, using calculus and then after that we have to investigate the boundary by finding the absolute extreme values on each of these boundary pieces. So the first step is to find find any critical points inside the triangle and these will be local maxes or mins and we know if the absolute max or min occurs on the inside it'll also be a local max or min and we'll be able to find it using calculus and then the second step is to uh, look at the values of the function on the boundary pieces And we can apply one variable calculus techniques to each of those pieces. And there'll be more complicated examples later on where this step will involve Lagrange multipliers. But for this, we won't need that. So again, the function was x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 4y. So now I'm going to find any critical points that may exist inside the region, which if you recall was this. So to find the critical points, we see where both partial derivatives are 0. So the partial with respect to x is 2x minus 2, and the partial with respect to y is 2y minus 4. So these are both 0 when x is 1 and y is 2, so the only critical point is 1 comma 2. And, well, for one thing, it occurs inside the region. That's good to know. And so this tells us um, if the absolute max were inside the region, or if the absolute min were inside the region, this is the only place it could occur because it would also have to be a local max and we would have found it if it were somewhere else in here. And we don't need to check whether it is or not. We can actually just plug it into the function and see what value we get and compare it to values later on. So if we plug just 1, 2 into here, we get 1 plus 2 squared minus 2 minus 8, which comes out to be negative 5. So we just remember that the function has the value negative 5 at 1, 2, and we'll be getting a list of values later on that we'll have to see if we can get lower than this value. 